what is up flock pinks here and welcome back to another farming sim 17 fs91 video now uh, i've gotten a lot of work done uh in the uh since i don't even know how long it's been since i uploaded one of these videos because you know i just kind of work in my free time whenever i have like time like if i'm rendering or something or if i'm editing like the uh, Sons of the Forest videos take a long time to edit. I have to sit through and watch like two hours of video. So I'll just, while I'm, while I'm listening to that one screen, I'm fiddling with mods and, and all that. And I've gotten some work done and I got some other cool stuff to show off. So I figured, uh, why not show them all? So uh, the last time I did it, I said I had three major projects I wanted to work on. And I, I haven't really done anything to those. So... Tiger 50, uh, pretty much the same, I think, from the last video. I still have to work on the lights. I, this is where I get to. Like, I get to this point, and I just get tired of with lights. But as you can see here, uh, it's somewhat in process. Like, I, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, just <laughs> getting it all done is, is the problem. I'm going to show a sneak peek of something we're going to talk about later. Uh, and then engine four, I, I, or engine 504. I don't know if I showed that off last time, but I did swap the bed out on it. So it is a little bit better than what it was, but still not completely accurate. I haven't done anything with 501. 501, I need to go back and redo all the texturing. And then I think I, I want to redo the texturing on, uh, brush 50 because chief just can th this is the problem. This is the problem. I start making things look more accurate, and, and and I like it. And then Chief comes along, and he just like, he just, and then, you know, now I gotta get everything to look this good because you know Chief sent me over. I don't. I think he's a beta. I don't think he it's completely done yet. But good lord, look at this thing. This is so lifelike. Holy! Remember when I used to think that like the original fifty one was so or fifty four was so lifelike. Uh, like it was so spot on. This thing just kind of blows that out of the water. Like this thing is beautiful. So I gotta get him to. Well, I can probably steal that, but I gotta get him to. I, I'm just gonna have to get him to do, redo all the textures for me so they all match, all the font and everything. Cause God, he did. He just did such a freaking good job. I can't top that. I can't top that whatsoever. But yeah. So. Uh, m Cheap, I keep calling him Cheap because that's what I know him. It's Cheap Romney, but like, I don't think he goes by Chief anymore. I think it's just Jesse or Firefire Rom. I think it's Firefire Romney. Anyway, he did such a good job. Uh, he actually messaged me and asked me if, like, if what I would like done, if if I would like him to just do all the trucks and and all that, or if he wanted me to want to just be sent model if he if i want him just send me models i told him that i much rather just him do it like i can i can do good on my own like i can like i'm a scavenger i i can get what i want uh from other parts to just kind of make it look somewhat good um finley also did that for me and then the bed was done for me by uh i can i don't P, I'm going to call him PZ. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, Chief just freaking knocked Command 50 out of the park. I just, I'd rather him just do it. I know it's going to probably take a lot longer than if he just sent me the models and I did it myself. But at least, like, everything will be this high quality. So, anyway. Uh, these will stand in for now. And hopefully, uh, sometime in the future, we get all those redone by jesse himself and same with 52 i that's my i that's the thing i want the most that's my that's tops my wish list 50 old 502 because it's not even 502 anymore it's sitting there in pennsylvania with no markings on it and it's kind of, it's just kind of sad to see but i'd love to see that end game completely and then tire 50 i haven't done anything to it's, it's just as it was and it still has the outcast city markings on it Anyway, that's Harrington. That's my top priority. That's what I want to get done. So, uh, you know, once I start getting into finer details and other things, then we'll move over to this. The next project uh, I was working on is Pigeon Forge Engine 21, uh, which now I got to 
duplicate this. I don't think there is, like, I'm not that good, and I'm not that picky that I have to have a shorter uh, rest, or shorter bed on it. Um, but Pigeon Forge just got another one that looks almost identical to this, just a little bit shorter, and it's going to be Engine 22, so we're just going to uh, swap them. We're going to finish this, swap the markings to Engine 22, and so we have Engine 21, Engine 22. Then we have Squad 48, which was third on the list, and uh, you know what? I just haven't done anything with it either. I don't know wh which bed is more accurate, this one or this one. So I might just rob the doors off this one to put on that one. If that, that bed's more accurate, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that, that's the current plan with that. I just kind of got to decide which bed I want to use. That one looks a lot nicer, but I think this one might be more accurate to the actual truck. And then we have... Bridgeville, whatever engine, I don't even remember, just sitting here chilling. I haven't done anything that the wheels still don't even move. Um, oh, and the reason why I have this on here is because I want to take the Jake break off of this. And put it on 501. Because I, I just like it. But anyway, uh, the next thing I've been working on... Oh, let's... The status of Lynchburg, Lynchburg is just kind of there. I haven't done anything. that That's not even going to be the rescue for it anymore. Uh, that was just something I was working on. I, although it might. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Anyway. The other thing I've been working on is I brought back Featherville. So the I wanted to do a... Um, I wanted to do a... Same thing that Cody's currently working on with Shirley. I want to do a uh, a paint scheme based off a railroad, and I was like, "All right," but I want it to be a railroad road that means something to me. So we had Pennsylvania Railroad first because that's I, I go up at Lancaster a lot. We ride uh, the Strasburg Railroad, which has Pennsylvania Railroad engines. And Pennsylvania Railroad's like maroon and like gold. I don't know if, how that would look as a combo in the truck. So I was like, what about tr train uh, lines that ran near me? So we had, for as far back as I remember, was Conrail, which I don't know how the blue would look, the blue and white, especially since what uh, Cody's doing with Shirley is blue and white. I was like, eh, I don't think that blue would look as good. Um, I said, all right, so what's next? Uh, next it was Norfolk Southern black and white truck like mainly black with white on it i i don't know how that would look on a fire truck either um so i was like all right so right now it's del i think it's delaware central railroad dcr which is maroon black over maroon with a yellow stripe and i was like that's way too close to rock city so what am i gonna do and then i looked at my my baltimore orioles hat and i was like black and orange and then i painted uh this up this mac here up and i looked at it i was like wait a minute baltimore orioles is featherville colors so i was like we're gonna stick with the baltimore orioles theme that's why it's gonna be station eight if you guys if you guys well if you guys get the reference um i like you if you don't well, then you just really don't know about much about the Baltimore Orioles, because uh, that's like that's like standard knowledge for Baltimore Orioles, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna stick with the black over orange with the black stripe and the white smaller stripes on all all of the trucks here. Uh, this was the first one I did because I I found a uh, someone posted a picture of I think it's Landover Hills, I believe it's called. Um, I think it's in Virginia. No, I'm sure post their Mac and I've I've fallen absolutely in love with that truck now this doesn't isn't completely accurate to it but that's what inspired this as you guys can see we have the camper thanks to Ethan uh, the camper AC on the top here um, and put some stacks on it and the bed is close to what it is uh, the only thing I got why well, I, I think I have to do the lights on this that's not the one I wanted I think I have to do the lights on this yeah, I got to do the lights on it. Uh, I also have to finish the front. The front's not done. There's some more work I want to do to it. Um, but other than that is pretty much the way I want I do have to figure out the back there. But, yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Um, 
This one's about 75% done. Again, I got to do the lights, which I just have to copy from the truck I robbed the light bar off of. And boom. Also, I have to put some lights back here. I forgot about that. But yeah, there you go. That's going to be engine 8. Um, I also did these up to kind of look like uh, the back of the Baltimore Orioles player's jersey. So we have, we'll have the, the 8 with the, the actual uh, apparatus over top. So this will be engine 8. Squad 8, I think this is pretty much done. I don't, I don't know if this will stay. Um, I just really like this truck. I really like the look of this truck. So I wanted to use it. And this would be the only thing I would use it for. The only other thing would be like to swap out uh, an engine for Lynchburg. And, and you know, But I, I really like the way this looks. So um, this would be like the only new in, newer uh, truck in the fleet. Uh, everything else would be older with the exception of the ambulance. So that's that's the kind of theme I'm going for with Featherville. I want it to be an older, like very rural uh, fire company. And uh, I feel like this just kind of fits it because you have like you know, you have an uh, what's it like an '88 Mac? Uh, I think this is like a uh, 2011 uh, Aero XT, and then you're gonna have like an early 2000s. Uh, I think this is a Dash. So I feel like this fits in. Just tossing a, a random engine in there or squad. Excuse me, uh, I'm running it as squad. Uh, but again, I don't know if this will stay. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, then we have the rescue. This would be rescue eight. I need to redo or do all the textures on this. I put a lot of work into this thing. It doesn't really look at like it, but God, it started off as this. This this right here. Let me repeat myself. This right here started off as this. This right here, this bed, everything started off as this which started off as like a I don't even remember what was originally on here but I swapped the cabs I put the Pierce Aero XT off of PZ's oh I forget what rescue that was his big his his big rear er, rescue I took the cab off that put it on that and then just look at the back all right this is what it looked like. This is what it looks like now. Okay, so I had to like I took the the the, the doors, the whole this this all here is all from PZ's rescue. Um, I took the the back the steps, the doors, all that. Well, the doors I had to take the bed back in the blender, cut those out, and put them back in and then I just erased the sides and enough to put this chrome piece in the in the middle of it and god it looks so good I really like the way it turned out and then the <laughs> so um the inside didn't fit and you guys can tell it like you can't really see there there's you know blockage there but uh, you could see right down the inside and it was you could see right through so what I did was I create boxes You can probably see it somewhat here. Oh, let's check on the other side. I Put boxes in it doesn't look like there's anything there, but there is I swear uh, So you can see somewhat in but not You know through hollow space. So I put the windows in I put the doors in So yeah, I put a lot of work into this and this is probably by far one of my favorite things I've I've uh, come up with so God it looks I love it I love it so there will be rescue eight so we have engine eight squad eight rescue eight and then the newest uh, addition would be the tanker eight so if you guys uh, haven't checked out the community tab uh, I'm pretty sure that the first the first poll is going to be done I did a poll over there asking what people like more the orange rims or the chrome rims um at the time of the recording this which is uh like 1 45 in the morning on wednesday um the chrome rims is winning so i'm pretty it's like by a huge margin it's kind of like a landslide so i'm pretty sure it's going to go with the chrome rims so um my next poll is probably up by now and the next poll would be do i keep the pierce logo there or do i remove it and put the featherville uh, name there. Hold on. 
Nope. Yep. Nope. Nope. I thought I had to sneeze. I didn't. So that's going to be the next poll. It's probably already up. It's probably close to be closing. So uh, hurry up and go vote. And then after that, we're going to do another poll uh, on whether we keep the doors like this, where the doors are gray with the stripe, or if we paint them. So it would look like this. So that's going to be the next poll. So keep a, a close eye on the community poll because this truck is, while the the choice has been, or, uh, the choice of truck is being made by me, really all of the um, components are going to be, like the, the decisions are going to be made by the YouTube community tab. Again, if you don't know what that is, just go over to my channel, click on the community, like the tab at the top, and it'll take you, it's like kind of like a Twitter sort of thing there so that's where you can do the building i really do like the way this these orange rims look though i'm just gonna say i'm not a huge fan of painted rims um and th this truck uh came the it was the pikeville truck that came with like gray this rim that was painted gray and I painted it orange just for for just to see what it looked like and i kind of did dig it not gonna lie so i'm gonna i'm sad to see that go but I mean, the chrome ones look really, really good, too, and it kind of fits the theme of the department. Um, I, I, there's only going to be two more trucks added to this, this department. The one is going to be a brush truck, and the second is going to be an ambulance. I don't know what I want to do for an ambulance just yet, but I do have uh, two options for a brush truck, and uh, I'm thinking one of these two. So... Um, I'm leaning more towards the 4900. Uh, I might put it up in a poll. Let me know. You guys know if, if I should put it up to to vote or not. But I feel like the international 4900 just fits the department more. Uh, so that's that's the my, what's currently going on in my head for uh, Featherville. But yeah, Featherville is making a comeback again. Lynchburg's kind of just kind of on pause right now. I don't know what I want to do with that. Another project, though, I have been working on, as you guys can see here, is the 388 inspired by Houston's... Yes, I said Houston. If you're not from Delaware, you probably think it's Houston, but it's Houston. Houston's B or B. Uh, tanker 7... Or, I, oh, I almost said Tanker 78.5. I think that's... I think that's... I think that's Greenwood's tank. I know... It, 78 is Greenwood, but I think there is a 5. But this is 52.7. 52.7. Uh, tanker. Uh, the Peterbilt 388. Um, this is this has been a uh, just kind of a toss together. I haven't really done anything. Because I really wish I could get somebody to uh, like make me the boxes. Uh, or the, the cabinets on the bottom of this. Because if so, that, that it would look so awesome. I, I, I'm, I don't like asking for stuff, but that would look, that look really awesome. But yeah, it's just a temporary throw together. It's not, not nowhere being complete at all. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, that's what I've been working on. That's what I've, I've been coming up with. Um, just in my free time. This is, I haven't put too much time in the, in the I, a lot of, almost everything needs work done. Uh, I think I'm going to definitely take the, if I keep this, I'm going to definitely take the light bars off and put probably the same light bar on, that's on this. I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, so two things in the comments down below. Should I put the, uh, the brush truck up for a pole and should I keep this? Maybe I, maybe I, um, put that up to a vote if I should keep the E1 as squad or find another truck to put up a squad. Either way, uh, you know, I want to I want to involve the community. I want to get the con the community involved in making uh, decisions and uh, so cuz Featherville is is w wouldn't be possible without you guys. So anyway, but that's going to do it for me for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much, and I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Sim 17 FS91 videos, be sure to click subscribe. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live or upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching.
I'll see you guys next time. Bye.